Hey guys, it's Dudes Corner here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve the 2x2 Rubik's Cube. Now real quick, I just want to say, if you know how to solve a regular 3x3 Rubik's Cube, I would recommend watching a different tutorial, which I have posted down in the description, because it's a lot easier, and if you know how to solve a 3x3, it'll be just very, very straightforward. So I definitely recommend go check that out, and you'll be able to see just how easy it is just from knowing a 3x3. However, if you do just want to see from scratch how to solve a 2x2, this would be the right tutorial for you. So if you do not know how to solve a 3x3, I'll be showing you how to solve a 2x2 without needing to know how to solve a 3x3. Because I know lots of 2x2 tutorials out there inspect you to know how to solve a 3x3, so we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to focus on how to solve the 2x2. Now, how this is going to work is that there are going to be 8 different pieces, which all of them are going to be corners. Now, we are going to be solving this cube by layer, so this is going to be layer 1 that we'll solve, and then we'll solve the last layer. So two steps for solving the cube, and I'll break down each main step. Now, there are six different colors on the cube. The one main thing you probably already know is that the there is only going to be one white, orange, and green corner. There is never anywhere else in this puzzle that has white, green, and orange. This is very important for breaking down the structure of the puzzle. So this is the only white, orange, and blue corner. This is the only white, orange, and red corner. Sorry, red blue and white corner but yeah you get the idea that the colors can't move and this can be very helpful for determining the structure of the puzzle and what pieces need to go where now how will we indicate where we are each color needs to go it actually won't be needed um, if you don't understand you'll understand as we go along but however there is one thing that is very very important for solving the 2x2 Rubik's Cube and this is learning what notation is. And I'm afraid that even if you find this to be very hard, there's no easy other way to solve 2x2 two two without knowing notation. Now, there are, you need to look at what face am I holding. And we're always going to hold it so that we're facing one side. And I'm facing orange. The way I'm holding the cube, I have white on top, green on my right, and then blue on my left, yellow on the bottom, and then red on the back. This is just on my cube anyways. If I hold it that blue is now on top, then white is on the right and yellow is on the left. This can be hard to keep up with, but I'll help walk through what side we'll need to be holding and how we'll be holding it throughout the tutorial. So now we understand our sides. Now how do we understand notation? Now, as I'm sure most of you people know, that there is going to be algorithms involved for solving the cube. Now this is going to work a little different than the 3x3 three three, um I know for those people that know how, don't know how to solve 3x3, don't worry about that then. Um, but how notation works is this is your right side. If I say to turn the right side, I want you to turn the right side. If I say to turn the right side twice, that means turn the right side twice. If I tell you to turn the left side, I just turn the left side. If I tell you to turn the left side twice, then turn the left side twice. Now, how do you determine which way to turn? Now this is when it gets a little difficult. When I say right, I want you to turn clockwise. If I say right prime, I want you to turn counterclockwise. This is one of the hardest things to figure out which way to turn. This would be the top, top prime. This would be the bottom, bottom prime, back, back prime, front, front prime. Now here's the thing. Saying front, right, and left, and all those other sides gets very, very hard for me having to explain because I want to be able to list the algorithms right above up here. So the way instead is I'm going to refer to the first letter of the word. So the right side would be considered the R, and then the left side would be considered L. And then if I say, so if I say R, that means turn the right clockwise. And if I say R prime, that means turn the right side counterclockwise. So I'll be referring to the right as R, the left as L, the front as F, the top as U for up, the bottom as D for down, and B as back. The only sides we'll need for this um, for this tutorial will be the right side, the, the top side, the front, and the bottom. We will not need the left or the back. 
Now, there is only going to be three algorithms that you'll need to solve this, and I'll list the algorithms as we go, and the, each algorithm will be used for each step. So, now that you understand all this, let's go ahead and scramble the cube and begin the tutorial. Okay, I'd say this is pretty good scramble. Now, what we're going to want to start off by doing is find a white corner. Now, why particularly white is because I like to solve white first as my first layer. Um, so, we have one here, so we'll go ahead and use this one. Uh, this will be our white layer. It does not matter which side as long because there's no specific um, spot where you need to put them as long as if all the colors are matching, you're good. So we have white and white will be up here. Now what we need to do is find this white, blue, and orange. Orange will be here. So we need the white, blue, and orange corner to go up here. And that is back here. So what we need to do is bring this piece, assuming that this is our holding this piece, this white on top, we're gonna bring this over underneath its slot, which is down here. Now this is when we get to learn the first algorithm. This algorithm is going to, we're gonna continuously perform until the corner is in here. So this algorithm looks like this. R prime, D prime, R, D. And as we can see, that solved one of these pieces. Now we just have two more. We have this one here. Let's go ahead and line it up underneath its slot, which is right here, because it belongs right up here, because we have red, and this has a red piece. And to insert this, we're going to do the same thing, which is R prime, D prime, R, D. And that solved it. Now, it may take more times before it'll get in. You're just gonna keep performing those moves until it gets in and make sure the piece is underneath its slot. Now the last one is this one, and it belongs here. So we're gonna keep performing that algorithm, R prime, D prime, R, D, and that did not solve it, so we're gonna have to do it again, R prime, D prime, R, D. That still did not solve it, so let's try it again, R prime, D prime, R, D. and that did solve it now this can take multiple times that took three times for that corner it could take four maybe even five um, so just be aware that this could take quite a few times and make sure you're moving the moves correctly you could always follow along with what I did for moving the moves um, and I definitely recommend taking notes um, or writing down the algorithms because that can definitely help so now we have completed the first layer and this was considered the easiest step for the solve the next thing we need to do is solve the last layer. And for my cube, yellow is opposite of white. Um, your cube may not have that, uh, but it, just look for the one that has all the four same of the same colors on the last layer, and mine is yellow. Now, this next thing that we're going to do is put all of yellow facing on top. There are four different cases you can have. You can have a dot, a line, no yellow, or all of yellow. I have a dot. And to solve the dot, we're going to do kind of what we did with the corners, how we have to perform the same move several times before um, getting all of yellow on top. This may get a little annoying to have to perform, but I will walk through how this will all work. Um, so for me, I have one corner um, already done, one yellow sticker. And you want to be holding it in this exact position how I'm showing you, making sure yellow's on top. Um, we have to have the piece here. It can't be here, it can't be here, it can't be here, and it can't be it, but it has to be here. And to do this, we would do this algorithm here holding this piece here. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And that looked like it didn't do anything, but that's okay. We're just going to put this yellow piece back here, and we're going to perform that same algorithm again. So R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And that got all yellow on top. Now I'll show you a few other things. If that didn't get it in two times, just keep doing it over and over again, making sure the yellow is here, and eventually you will get it. Now then you can have just a line, which are two done. If you have two done, you want to hold it so that the line is on your right side. So not here, not here, not here, but here. 
and you're going to and this may have to be performed several times but you're going to do this move r u r prime u r u2 r prime and that got us a dot case so we're going to put this down over to here again and we're going to do what we did before so the same algorithm r u r prime u r u2 r prime and we have the dot case again so we're going to hold it here again r u r prime u r u2 r prime and that got all of yellow on top now then you can also have none if you have none you can hold from any side and it doesn't matter which side and you're just going to perform the same moves again making sure that um, white's on the bottom and yellow would be on top and it would be r u r prime u r u2 r prime and we have the line so we're going to hold that on the right and we'll perform the move again so r u r prime u r u2 r prime we have a dot so we're going to hold it here and then r u r prime u r u2 r prime we still have the dot so we're going to do it again r u r prime u r u2 r prime that got all of yellow on top now something else i want to real quick mention is you could also have this here and that's perfectly okay it's technically considered just two dots um or just two corners and you're just going to hold it solving as if it was just one so you can either have it like this um or you could have it like this how you're just going to solve having just one dot so anything but in this position it's so like this is fine and we do r u r prime u r u2 r prime and then we have the line so we do hold on the right and then perform the moves again which is r u r prime u r u2 r prime and we have none this time so we'll go ahead and perform the moves again r u r prime u r u2 r prime we have the line so we're going to hold on the right r u r prime u r u2 r prime we have the dot i'm going to hold on the bottom left r u r prime u r u2 r prime still have the dot i'm going to do the same case again r u r prime u r u2 r prime and as you can see i got all of yellow on top this last case which is to solve the cube is going to be the hardest and it's going to be one of the largest algorithms you'll have to deal with and is when you need to swap two corners across now there is a case where you need to swap diagonally and i'll show you how to do that in a moment now to swap across you're going to perform this algorithm holding yellow on top white on the bottom and the pair that needs to switch on the right and this algorithm looks like this r u r prime f prime r u r prime u prime r prime f r 2 u prime r prime u prime and as you can see it solved the cube that algorithm is very long and i'd recommend watching and moving the exact pieces as i just did because this can be very very hard to memorize on your own then you can have having to swap diagonals these two corners here and here need to swap if you have this what you're going to do is you're going to be swapping these two and then you're going to be swapping these two this is going to be one of the most annoying cases to deal with and i'm sorry but this is going to be the best way for you to solve it holding yellow on top and white on bottom you're going to perform the same moves as before r u r prime f prime r u r prime u prime r prime f r2 u prime r prime we're going to re uh, position the top that way we have one side solved and then we have these two that left are need to swap and we're going to form the algorithm again holding yellow on top white on the bottom and these two on the right and the algorithm is r u r prime f prime r u r prime u prime r prime f r2 u prime r prime u prime and as you can see 
it has solved the cube. So there you go. That is how to solve two by two. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them down in the comment section. And I will get back to you. If not me, another cuber will. And I'm sure that we can all help you. So, and I'm sure that last case may be hard. So there are other people that may be able to also help you with easier ways to solve it, or that just may have helped them. So yeah, feel free to ask any questions, or if you need help down in the comment section, I'll be able to get back to you. So anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please remember to hit that like button down below and hit the subscribe button as well as those bell notifications to see more videos and tutorials that will be coming out pretty soon. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.